So I thought I'd talk today about something I may come back to. You know, people know me as going with the flow, and it's true. That's that's what I tend to do sometimes. But I'm taking a coaching class, and I'm learning a lot about myself. This is a good thing because it's showing me a lot of different ways I can improve. And one of the things that really got exposed, and some of you may resonate with this as well, is I like to be in control. And it's a kind of funny dynamic to say, I go with the flow, but then I wanna be in control of, of things. And I think the perspective that I have is that, well, the situation that I'm in the most control of, is gonna be the best situation for me. And you know, I've been kind of debating that recently or thinking about it a little bit more. First with the realization and then second, man, is there is there a possibility that the best situation for me is not the one that I'm in control of? So I'm out here chilling at the beach, right? And man, it's, it's, it's a nice day out here. The sun is up, you can't feel the cold as much because you got those rays on you, which is amazing. I'm a fan, but I'm here looking at the lake, I almost said the ocean, <laughs> I wish. But I'm looking at the lake and I'm seeing how the, the waves are kind of blowing the waves in whatever direction the wind wants it to. And yet the waves are just going with that flow. And I'm thinking, is it possible that there's something else that could put me in the direction that I need to go that would actually be more of a flow because I'm not the one seeking to have control over it. I don't think I've ever seen water try to force its way somewhere or to accomplish something on its own. Like there's always another force that's working on it, whether it's the wind or gravity or evaporation or something like that and water can be so powerful, so unpredictable, so feared, so respected, even though it's not in control of itself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think about, uh, I haven't looked up any, any details on it as far as today, but I was thinking about the, the hurricane that hit Florida. I got some friends down there, seeing a bunch of people checking in that they're safe, and I, I'm thankful for that. But look at look at the power that the water has not because it's doing it by itself but because of the forces that are acting on it that to me is just something interesting water for as much water as there is on the planet what do they say it's like 70 percent of the planet or something definitely more than 50 percent and if water tried to control itself or if it tried to act according to its own forces It'd be pretty weak and it wouldn't accomplish anything. But water becomes so amazing and can take on so many different forms when it allows other forces to work on it. So I don't know. This is one of those nature les lessons that I am, I don't have it all figured out yet. And I don't, I don't think there's any specific conclusion that I'm getting to with this, except that the perspective I think I want to take is that I can be more effective in my own life if I let something else have control or let something else influence me to get me to where I need to go. Yeah. So I'm going to keep looking at these waves for a little bit. I'm going to keep feeling this breeze. You can't see it. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where it's going, but something's happening. <laughs> And yet everything ends up where it's supposed to. So it, it can be hard for us to let go of control in our own experience. But I feel like sometimes and you may resonate with this too. The more that you struggle or fight for something or to get something in a certain direction or to, to achieve a certain thing for yourself, it seems like you're working against yourself or it seems like the harder it is to actually grasp that thing. What if we take a step back and actually go with the flow, not what we think our inner flow is, but the flow of something else outside of us. Some, something, someone like God who may know bigger and know better than us. Even though we think we have the answers and think we know where we're trying to go and what we're trying to do. You know, 
I think about this especially because I have just graduated as of a, what, two months ago now? And I'm just thinking about the future, the plans, and full disclosure, I actually applied in the last couple of years for two student mission coordinator positions at two different of the universities, at Southern and at Southwestern. And for most people who know me, you think, oh man, that's a, that's a shoe and you're definitely gonna get that job. But guess what? I'm still at Andrews. <laughs> so I didn't get the job. And I tried to do everything I could to put myself in a great position to get those jobs. And it didn't work out. And yet, through that, God is showing me, wait a second, maybe that's not where I'm supposed to be. Maybe there's something else, something bigger, something even perhaps more fulfilling that I can do that isn't what I originally thought I wanted to do. Yeah, those positions were closer to my big picture goal and my, my long-term dream, long-term vision. But maybe it's not exactly where God wanted me to go. And I needed to let some of these forces, some of his forces, and just let him act on me and move things to get me to where I need to go. We'll see, because there's some interesting things on the table right now. That's another video for another time. But that's all I'm gonna hit you with for this one. I'm gonna get off of this thing, because sitting here with my arm up is kind of tiring and I'm just trying to enjoy the vibes out here. So I'll catch you in the next one, man. It's the Buff Missionary, we out. Let's get it.